but first to Spain, which is dealing with an unprecedented heat wave for this time of the year. Many places have already been hit by an unseasonally dry winter. Spanish forecasters expect this heat wave to peak today and into tomorrow. Now, here's a look at expected temperatures for Thursday, with Madrid soaring to 36 degrees Celsius. Seville is at 31 degrees and Palma de Mallorca at 26 degrees. Now, those numbers are all way above the average for this time of year. But for some, it's a welcome change. These tourists from England are getting a sneak peek of the Spanish summer. We love it, absolutely. It's been so cold and wet at home. And even the day we went to the airport, it was Raining. 10 degrees, pouring with rain and windy. And then we landed in Almeria, to beautiful sunshine, it's lovely. But many locals are less thrilled. It's already unbearable, it's only April. If this is happening in April, what's it going to be like in June? It wouldn't be Spain's first climate record of the year. Last month, the country recorded its driest March in two decades. The scorching heat, combined with a drop in rainfall, has brought on a severe drought that has hit Spain's farmers the hardest. The dry conditions have increased the risk of wildfires. The heat wave poses a grave risk to local wildlife. As entire rivers dry out, Spanish authorities are racing to rescue the native fish population. They've been using electric shocks to stun the fish before moving them to another river with higher water levels some 10 kilometers away. It's possible there'll be a mass die-off if this isn't completed over the next few weeks or even months due to a combination of low water levels and poor water quality in this section of the Onyar River. The heat wave is expected to peak on Friday. Guy Hedgeco is a journalist in the Spanish capital, Madrid. Guy, uh, Spain is known for being lovely and sunny, but can you put into perspective for us quite how unusual these temperatures, these kind of temperatures are in Spain? Well, they are extremely unusual. I mean, these are the temperatures up in the mid to high 30s. Um, people are used to them in Spain in general, but they're used to seeing them in, say, mid-July or mid-August. What they're not used to seeing are these kinds of temperatures uh, two months or three months before that. Uh, and in April, it is pretty much unheard of. So the temperatures we've been seeing throughout this week have been 10 to 15 degrees higher than uh, average for this time of year. Um, so that's been a, a real shock for people. Um, and today, right now in, in Madrid, it's uh, somewhere in the, in the mid to high 20s, but it's going to get hotter and hotter throughout the day today. And it's down in the south of the country. There's places like Cordoba and Seville, down in Andalusia, which are really expecting to get very hot between today and tomorrow. And can you give us a sense of how this heat is affecting everyday life in Spain? As you say, people in Spain are used to it, but not this early and presumably not then for such a long period of time across the year. Yeah, I mean, I think the problem for a lot of people is that, you know, these sort of temperatures in the summer are not so much of a problem because partly because you're expecting them and also because a lot of people are, are on vacation at that time or, or they're resting and they're not they're not working at the moment you know people who have a job will be you know doing their job as usual their day-to-day -day life is pretty normal and yet they have to put up with these temperatures i should point out that the temperatures do tend to hit their peak um quite late in the day so sort of from five to six o'clock onwards but still very uncomfortable um, people don't want to use their air conditioning too much because the energy costs are so high as well. And so just getting around and doing ordinary things can be uh, pretty uncomfortable. Um, and the, the authorities have uh, issued several warnings already in terms of health warnings, wildfire warnings, hospitals are on alert. So there's a lot of information out there, you know, warning people about these temperatures and the precautions to take. You mentioned the health warnings. I mean, what about long term effects on people's health? Well, yeah, I mean, the government has been issuing these warnings that it would normally issue in July or August, 
um, telling people to try and avoid the heat in the, in the hottest times of the day, and especially warning about older people and, and small children who are particularly at risk. Um, but, yeah, people who have underlying health problems are also seen as high risk. And I think um, a problem with the, the, the sudden rise in temperatures that we've had this week is the fact that it comes at a, an unusually early time of year. People aren't mm -hmm. used to um, taking precautions at that time. So people with those health problems... Um, they're having to change their routine, perhaps, or take particular precautions, stay out of, uh, mm -hmm. stay indoors or stay out of the heat uh, for much of the day when they wouldn't normally have to do that because um, of the medical risk. Guy Hedgeco reporting from Madrid. Thank you so much.